This is a real short video, but it is just a continuation of taking the gel press prints that we made in episode 6 and utilizing them on the composition books. This is just one other way to utilize those prints, so we'll get to it and make it quick and easy. My name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a minute and subscribe to my channel. And that notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started with utilizing the rest of these prints. I am going to cover this composition book that we have here. And the first thing I want to do is trim off the white edges on these poles. And then we will trim them down into smaller sizes. So I think we'll use about a 2 inch width maybe two inch, two by two, two by three, one by two, just pulling them down into some various small little squares, rectangles, and we're going to run those through an embossing folder and glue them to the front of the book. This is what the embossing folder will do to these sheets of paper. I thought this was a, a very clear way to show you how that embossing on that paper looks because it's a little harder to see when you have that full print. So I wanted to make sure um, I showed you that little white piece. I'm utilizing three different embossing folders to get three different textures on the front of this book. Just sticking the little pieces that I cut into the folder. I'll run those through my Big Shot. We'll bring those back and load them up again until we have everything completely embossed and we'll just kind of sort these by color to give us the capability to pull them when we're working with the glue on the front of the composition book. So now that we have all of those sorted we're ready to glue them down and I'm just randomly gluing them <clears throat> with the variance of color and the variance of texture on the front of the book. And I'm not making any real Tetris like plan as I go here because overlapping them to cover the front of the book is not going to be an issue. The paper is relatively thin and we're going to give it a good coat with glue and water when we get finished adhering everything to the front of this cover. And you can kind of see where I make the variance in color. And we'll also, which you can't see as well, make the variance in texture. This is such a simple, simple little project. And the reason I like this is when you're using this book, you have two different things that are appealing to me anyway, and that's the texture on the front cover and the back cover and the color. So I'm going to flip that over and make sure everything is adhered properly, trim off the overlap that we received when we were gluing the pieces down. And now, I think that cover looks nice. We'll stick some deli sheets inside here and put our glue in water mixture. I'll put the recipe up there for my Mod Podge up in the link here in the screen. And I'm just giving that a good coat. We'll set that aside and let it dry, but I want to measure it and cut some of the those sheets to cover the inside front covers. So I'm just cutting them down to size. I think I'm going to use this one and the other one that you saw laying there. I'm going <clears> to <throat> remove the white on the edges and get as much color as I can. 
And I'm not afraid of that white space either. And now we have those cut to the size, size and I'm going to glue these inside the front. I'm going to cover the inside, the outside edges with some black acrylic paint just to give that background on the inside cover. And I'll let that paint dry and then we'll come back and glue these in. I'm going to ink around the outside edges of them to give them a little border definition. And there's my inside front and my inside back cover. And they'll fit real nice right there. We'll paint around that outside edge and that will complete the book. So here is the front cover, the inside. And as you can see, I just took some black acrylic paint and painted around the edges so we had that border definition on these prints. And that is a quick and easy book to use, book to gift. Again, I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. The playlist for everything that I'm doing right now with the gel press is linked right here. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate those of you who have subscribed and are supporting my channel. Bye for now.